this week. I thought I would show you how to make that uh, beef bone broth um, from those short ribs that we did last week. Um, it's a pretty simple, easy set it and forget it type um, recipe here um, behind me. You can kind of see crock pot. We're just, again, we're just taking the bones that we had out of the short ribs. We did not throw those away because we want to use those um, to make this bone broth here. So you will take those bones. You can just throw them in the crock pot. I did not clean ours off. I literally just took them out of our ribs and threw them in here and then added our other ingredients. So let's take a peek at what I have going on here. Here is the bones from our short ribs from last week. What I did was when I made the short ribs, I took the bones out and I placed them in a crock pot with cold water here. I didn't clean the bones off. I literally just took them straight from our short ribs and threw them here in this cold water. You can add whatever you want to like to your mixture here. So usually celery and onion are a good thing to put in the pot with these soup bones. I didn't have um, all of that. So I um, had a frozen mixture because that's all I had on hand at the moment. Fresh is always better, but I had frozen. So what you see in here is frozen celery, onions, and frozen peppers. This up on top is garlic. And then I also added my salt and pepper here. So about a teaspoon of salt and pepper and then uh, four to five cloves of garlic is in this bowl. I'm gonna pour all of that in this mixture here. I have my crock pot set to low. I'm going to pour it in, I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm literally just sitting it and forgetting it. And I'm gonna leave this overnight. Um, so set it and forget it. So in the morning, we will check it and we will see what our bum broth looks like. But that's how you do it when you live a fast paced life, you're busy, you don't have time to sit here and brew up your bone broth, but you want the ideal of still eating it. Here's how you do it. Hey, good morning guys. Heather here with Balon Family Farm. So it's the next morning. I'm here in my kitchen um, early in the morning here. So our crock pot with those beef bones in the back that we're making our um, bone broth with, um, they are ready. They smell, I wish you could smell um, what they smell like. It smells glorious in here. So they've been cooking all night um, in that crock pot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them this morning and um, get our broth out of there and put it into a mason jar. So um, pretty simple. So you're gonna see me just put the camera down. Um, I'm not gonna video that because I can't hold the camera and um, hold the crock pot and strain at the same time. So I will briefly put that camera down. I will show you um, what it looks like, the end results of that. Our, our bone broth, what it looks like. But um, I'm gonna flip the camera real quick at what it looks like right now. Um, I'm going to strain this. Like I said, I'm gonna strain out all the veggies um, and the garlic and everything that we have. And what we're gonna be left over is just the broth part here. I'm gonna put it in a mason jar and we're gonna drink that um, and consume that. If you don't know what the benefits of bone broth are, they're um, plentiful. Um, the main being um, collagen um, and it can help like with your skin and um, even strength and everything. So great for the bones, great for inflammation in your body, just overall general health. We should be consuming bone broth. So no better way than a twofer with those short ribs and then you can also make your own bone broth. So I wanted you guys to see this. I wanted you guys to see the importance of how you can get a two for one out of just making a simple short ribs for your family and then turn around and make your own um, bone broth out of that. So let's get this strained here. I'm going to put the camera down, guys. We'll get this strained and then I'll show you what it looks like in the mason jar. Hold on just one second. That strained, I um, used a cheesecloth and just strained it here in my mason jar. Um, there it is. Beautiful and golden, liquid gold, right? So it's gonna work great um, for us just to sip on. We can also use this and like our beef noodles or anything that we need a broth for. So gonna work awesome. I'm just putting that in the refrigerator. Um, leftover, um, the leftover ingredients that um, we used um, to blend in with our broth, our bones here. 
we're just going to use that. Uh, we're going to compost that and put it back in the soil. So the kids wanted an orange. So I threw the orange pill in there as well. So we'll just use this. Uh, we're not going to discard it. We're not going to throw it in the trash. We'll just we'll compost that and put it back in the ground. So here's how you do it. This is your nice um, bone broth from your soup bones. So can't go wrong. Two for one. If you have any questions, um, leave them below in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of your day. This is Heather with Family and Family Farm.